A concave mirror has a focal length of 0.5 meters. A toy robot is held in front of the mirror 23 centimeters away. A. Find the location and the magnification of the image of the robot. B. Is the image real or virtual, upright or inverted? We have length in meters and centimeters, so we'll either have to change this to meters or that to centimeters. I'm just going to use centimeters, so I'm going to change the focal length to 50 centimeters. So the focal length is 50 centimeters. The toy robot is 23 centimeters away. So what do you think 23 centimeters is? It is the distance between the object, which is the robot, and the mirror. So this is the object distance, DO. And we want to find the location of the image. That means that we're looking for DI. So we can use the mirror equation 1 over DO plus 1 over DI equals to 1 over F. And that will be 1 over DO, 23, plus 1 over DI, and that equals to 1 over 50. So we can solve for the di, we get 1 over di equals to 1 over 50 minus 1 over 23. And this will give us the di that is negative 42.6 centimeters. Di being negative means it is a virtual image. Since a mirror reflects light, a virtual image is formed by the ray extension, that means the real light rays does not get there to form the image. Therefore, the image must be behind the mirror where no light gets to. So this image must be 42.6 centimeters behind the mirror. Now let's find the magnification. The magnification is negative di over do. So to be negative, di is negative 42.6, do is 23. So this gives us a positive 1.85. Magnification has no unit. The positive here tells us that the image must be upright. And we will get a positive magnification when the di is a negative number. So we always get upright image for a virtual image. At least that's uh, true when we have a single mirror or a single lens forming image. So virtual image is related to the upright image. And uh, this 1.85 means uh, the image is uh, 1.85 times uh, the size. So if the height of the toy robot is h, the image would have a height that is 1.85 times h. Even though we could solve the problem with only equations, let's do some ray tracing just for practice. So here I have the concave mirror. The focal length is 50 centimeters, so this is 50 centimeters, and the toy robot, the object, is 23 centimeters away. I'm going to draw two rays. The first ray I'm going to draw is a parallel ray, the ray that is parallel to the principal axis. So this one. And where should this ray go? It is a concave mirror, so the rays do bend towards the center, so this ray is going to bend and go through the focal point. So this ray is going to bend and go to here. The second ray I'm going to draw is going to go to the center of the mirror, so this ray goes like that. And how should this ray bend? This ray should bend symmetrically to the principal axis. So the ray should go like this. As we can see that these two rays, they will never meet. However, their extensions can meet and form an image on this side. So if I draw the ray extension, this one would go back to here. And the green one will go to here.
and the two rays will meet right here forming an image that is upright. So let's see we have a virtual image because it is formed by the ray extension. It is 42.6 centimeters behind the mirror. So this is 46, 42.6 centimeters and that's 50 centimeters. And the image is upright and it is about 1.85 times the size of the object. So here I have this mirror, the concave mirror with a 50 centimeter focal length. This is a, like a makeup mirror, a magnifying mirror. And this one here is a plane mirror. So you can see that they are side by side and uh, the image formed by the makeup mirror, the magnifying mirror is uh, bigger than the one that's a plane mirror. A plane mirror gives us a magnification that is uh, one. And both images are upright. Okay, and then also if I hold this pencil over here, as you can see, the pencil's image is thicker in that concave mirror. So this is when the mirror acts like a magnifying mirror. The mirror on the right side is a normal flat mirror.